Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com My name is Jason Squeaky Chair Newland There you go, bit of squeaky chair action there This is Let Me Bore You to Sleep, number something. Uh, I think it's number 76, which is quite a lot, isn't it? Quite a lot. Yeah, I think the last one I do was 75, and that was... Uh, Let Me Boy to Sleep Facebook uh, Live Stream But I'm not doing a live stream Because I've uh, been unwell And I don't know um, If I'm going to be able to do a whole Hour Of this So I could do with just without the distractions of anything else But just me talking (laughs) That's it really Um, It's quite, it's uh, it's interesting It's only been a few days Really since I last did one I did uh, two recordings on Monday And it's only Friday now and uh, oh, this Sunday. Ah, oh, lose track. But anyway, it's only been a few days. One, two, three, three days where I haven't done anything, any recordings, and I've had a few people already contact me. Wondering where I am. Wondering what I'm doing. What's Andre doing? How is he? I just called him Andre. Andre. On. On. Dre. So my plan is I want to get a carpet cleaner. That's my plan. I'm going to get a carpet cleaner. Start make, getting this carpet a bit cl- cleaner. It's kind of, I suppose it's uh, self-explanatory. But, uh, I'm glad that Christmas is all over now. I'm glad that that's all done, but would have enjoyed the beginning of the new year to have been without, uh, Illness, but hey, it's it's a lot of it about apparently. So hey, it was quite a weird. It's quite an ironic, really, because I was feeling absolutely fine at the beginning of the year. You know, Tuesday last week, and then I went into visit a family member in hospital on Saturday. And then two days later, I was ill. So I must have just caught something when I was in the hospital. But uh, I feel like I'm on my way back, which is good. So I'm not going to spend the whole time talking about that because that's not what this is about. But uh, it's just, just the irony of it, really. At least I've now got, yeah, I'm now getting my sense of humour back. I lost my sense of humour for a few days, if I'm honest. Um, but there you go. So, I'm sure I got a request from somebody, and uh, about something that I could talk about. And that's probably not a bad idea, really, is 
to maybe some of you to put a few requests in about what you'd like me to talk about during these purposely boring recordings. So you can just post something on YouTube, a comment, um, if there's something you'd like me to discuss. Um, or post something on, you know, on Facebook or SoundCloud or wherever you've come across my stuff, Spotify. Um, yeah, it's just if there's, there might be something that maybe I've brushed over in the past, and uh, maybe I've been was talking about, you know, the first time that I painted an owl. You get get that I said there, brushed over, painted. See, my humour is back, full throttle. Puns, puns. Oh, it's amazing. Oh, I think I'm delirious. So only listen to this, of course, when you can safely close your eyes because Being tired and feeling relaxed and calm and all that stuff can cause drowsiness. And listening to somebody who is boring and monotonous and continuous, although that doesn't it sounds quite nice, but it probably doesn't fit in with those words. Continuously monotonous. Continuous monotonous. I don't care. So. Uh, oh dear. sure what I'm going to talk about but I need to get some I was thinking it's really weird and it's a little bit gross so I won't, I won't go into details but i just be thinking about who we should thank you know we have these yearly days so she, where we like Mother's Day, Father's Day, um, what other days do we have? Valentine's Day, where maybe you, you know, socially pressured to buy a gift for someone that you're living with, or where, you know, someone that you love. And I, what other days are there? You know, those kind of things to celebrate. And I was wondering. I was thinking about this anyway, and this is probably the most important day of all that we don't celebrate and we don't actually pay respects to and we don't say thank you to. And you're probably thinking, oh, where's he going with this? Where could the JJ be going with this one? There's someone in our lives that we don't thank, perhaps, and we really should. Maybe, I'd say more than once a year, but we should at least once a year buy a present for this person and say thank you for all that you do. And also, I'm sorry for all that I do. That's right. Your toilet. Your toilet deserves to be thanked for all that it does for you. After the last few days, I'm buying my toilet flowers. I'm taking it out for a meal.
thought I'd do something ironic, take take it out to their local Indian restaurant. Then I could eat my dinner and s- s- sit on her at the same time. No, let's sit on her, sit on the toilet, I mean. I don't know why I class my toilet as a female. It doesn't matter, fe- female, male. I don't really class it as a, as a, you know... I cast my toilet as a non-binary, very non-binary. <laughs> non-binary, a non-binary toilet. So it's a non-binary toilet. So basically, yeah, my my sink. Um, uh, What's what's the right word? My sink uh, considers itself to be a bath. Uh, no, what is it? I don't know. Anyway, so my toilet is uh, it deserves a lot of love from a distance, but a lot of love from a distance. Ooh, 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 ooh. I feel like I'm, because I haven't eaten, not really had any sort of solid food for, you know, a few days. And I feel that I'm, what's that word, you know, when you're, I've had a lot of liquids, been drinking plenty of water, and I think I'm getting rid of quite a few of the toxins. In fact, I know I am. So my body's kind of through the skin is getting through the toxins, getting rid of stuff that's bad in my system or that's not useful. So I'm probably going to be feeling a lot better in a few days, which is nice. I haven't been able to drink any Coke all week. I haven't had um, my vape, so I chucked that away in the end. So I no longer vape anymore. Because I only used the vape to stop smoking and I knew that I didn't really need it anymore and I wasn't enjoying it. And now, if I don't need it, there's no point doing it. You know, there's no point having a hammock taking up half of your living room if you're not going to at least use it now and then. I don't have a hammock. I don't know why I'm using that as an example. Because I don't know why, really. I can't see that hammocks would be very comfortable. In my recollection, very limited hammock usage history that I have. But I found them a little bit... um, Clingy, a little bit, um, just you know, it's a bit like a bit too tight, so I didn't, yeah. I like looseness in most situations, I like, um, not all situations, but quite, you know, I like to just feel loose, like when I'm wearing clothes, I like to just, just feel loose and uh, free, not too free just free enough with clothes on I'm talking about to just relax and um, because the thing is if I wear my clothes if they're too tight I just it's like every time I move I just feel another muscle swelling and I just feel too muscly and too muscular and and it's just you know it distracts me from what I'm trying to do and so I prefer to just have loose clothes so I don't feel quite as strong and, you know, big and manly as I am. Just try to pretend that I'm not and pretend that I'm like a a middle-aged with a beer belly or something, you know. Try and imagine that I'm like that instead of being the Hulk that I am. So that's why I like to wear loose clothes. So give the impression that maybe I'm a bit overweight and 
uh, could do some exercise at least once a year when the reality is take that top off and well he does say more I think I've already painted a, a picture to give you a thousand memories <laughs> none of them good right so what could we talk about today yeah pay homage to your toilet what a job you know oh yeah so that's what I think in my My sink identifies as a bath. My fridge identifies as a cooker. It's it very confusing at dinner time. I feel like singing a song. I want to sing a song. And when I sing, you will fall asleep. Falling asleep, very deep, very deep, deeply asleep, into a way, a big long wave of calmness and solitude, not exactly like the place that Superman used to go, his fortress of solitude, because although it was nicely lit. It looked a bit cold. A bit minimalist. Would you ever wonder if Superman really did go there for the weekend, for solitude? In this fortress of solitude? Well, where did he sit? Where did he sleep? Where did he eat? There was no furniture. There was nothing there. He needed a trip to Ikea. Oh, I remember. I, I know the... The... Um, What's that name? Right. In England. I'm talking about supermarkets now, by the way. Uh, in England. I don't know think what year we're going back. It was around in 19... No, 2007. No, 2005. 2004. So little L I D L E or L I D L something like that. And um for years and years and years the television adverts would call themselves Lidl. Pronounce it Lidl. And nobody else did. Just the T V adverts. Nobody going there would say I see you outside Lidl at 3.30 nowhere in a conversation would anyone say so where did you get these lovely scones from oh I got them from Lidl no no one ever said that they said little 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 because that's how it's Spelt, and that's how we pronounced it. But Lidl, or Lidl, the company, they weren't having any of it. It seemed more important to them to get us ignorant English people to pronounce the name of their store correctly. So they kept putting adverts out. They did everything except just come on and say, start shouting at us, will you please, it's Lidl, 
Lidl. L-A-A-A-A-D-L. Or L-A-A-D. L-A-A-A-A-D. A-L. Lidl. 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 It's probably A-L, isn't it? Not A-L. Well, now, the adverts, they call themselves Lidl. And that was a tug of war that didn't, it was just unnecessary. It didn't need to happen. And that went on for years. And I don't, it's like no one else noticed. I want to say nobody else noticed. I mean that nobody that I know mentioned it. There may have been millions of people around the country talking about it. But I don't know those people. No one invited me to lunch or to a group meeting to discuss the pronunciation of Lidl. And isn't pronunciation quite a weird word as well? It could, pronounced, could be pronounced pronunciation or pronunciation. So pronunciation can be pronounced twice, different ways. Is that what they mean by irony? I don't know. So, I don't go to Lidl myself. I can't call it Lidl now. I don't go to Lidl myself. No, I'm going to call it Lidl. Now that they want us to call it Lidl, I'm going to call it Lidl. Yeah. I am. I'm like Robin Hood. But instead of being a thief and scaring the hell out of people and stealing off them and then making out, well, it's all right because I'm giving stuff to my friends. Because, you know, that's, that's what drug addicts say, isn't it? You go and steal stuff and say, well, it's all right, I'm helping my friends out. Those that steal. So Robin Hood, I'm like Robin Hood, but instead of going out and stealing stuff, or I just pronounce things wrong, or I pronounce things right, right for me, but not for them. But sometimes that's all that matters. Sometimes that's all that cares. Sometimes, as you see a fly, do somersaults in the sky. You hear a ferret do a fart in the distance of an eye, 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 eye. And I wonder where this is going. I don't know. Where this is going I sometimes wonder If I'll ever Ever run a Run a out of Silly things to say That's all there is to say For me my name's JJ I might have a trim of my old beard. You know, if I, I think of these things, I think, you know, I'm just going to grow it long. I'm going to grow it long. And then, earlier on today, I say today because I've been sleeping day and night. Just, just basically sleeping when I can. But I had this dream. And this lady, like me, and I liked her. And then I kind of had a little bit of that feeling, a little bit of that, uh, you know, it's kind of one of the nicest feelings, I suppose, in the world, really. And uh, then, you know, I woke up and I thought, oh, 
Perhaps I do want that. Perhaps I do. Not that. I'm not referring to her as that. I mean, that situation, maybe. Not her, particularly, because she's not real. But with somebody that's real, a real person. Maybe. I don't know. But then maybe I need to trim my beard. Change my personality. <laughs> the beard is getting long. It's just draggly and it's I met my niece for the first time on Saturday and she loved my beard she was grabbing it hold of it it was like a new toy oh dear so Andre's just come out and he's running to one of his bags I washed one of his, I washed his main bag today, or yesterday, and it's a green and brown bag that he likes to sleep in, but uh, I carry it, I carry him in it when I go places that I can't have him out, and what he does is, when I walk him and I've got the bag, he gets out of the bag, rubs himself over whatever he can, and he gets back into the bag and sort of rubs himself back into the bag. You know, he likes to bring whatever smells he can into that bag. And there's a a jumper of mine that he stole off me, which he uh, it's a blue. It's like quite a nice one of my favourite jumpers actually. It was a nice bright blue very light kind of pastely blue jumper I've worn it in a few videos in the past where he, he decided to take that when it was dirty and put it into his bag and sleep in it so I left it with him anyway I, wa I wash the bag probably every few months every six depending on what kind of smell it gets to but recently I don't know what he's done but He'd managed to accrue them. It was the right, seriously bad smell. He just, the worse the smell is, the more he's attracted to it, which worries me when he comes and starts wanting to cuddle me. So I'm thinking, oh great, I need to have a bath. But it was a, he actually, because he smells nice normally, for me, generally, unless he lets a stink off, which he does occasionally. And normally, I think he smells nice. He's got a real like, oily sort of coat, and he's. That's him, by the way. The only time he really smells a bit weird is when he's been in that carrier bag for a bit too long. Because the carrier bag would be sweating, I guess, with his head from the heater then. And then when he goes into his bag, the green and blue, brown bag. It just stinks. It's like really pongy. Not a horrible stink, really. It's just... I don't know what it is. Like stale or something. But he loves it. The smellier the better. That's when he likes to be in the bag. When it's smelly. <laughs> it's weird. Very strange. It's... Um, He just wants to get down the drains whenever I go walking with him. He wants to get into the actual drains. I don't know what it is, what attracts him to really horrible smells. I, I suppose you probably noticed if you haven't fallen asleep yet. That the um, I've done this video, so I've, I've, the audio is going to be uploaded like normal. 
standard sort of podcast, just like every other one is. But instead of recording this live on Facebook or YouTube, you know, on a video, um, I'm going to actually make a video. So I've done the audio first, and I'm going to, if you're watching this on YouTube, you can see that there's a picture of, well, it's not a picture, it's actually a, a film of a candle. Um, so the whole time that this is playing, you can see a candle uh, flickering for the whole hour or however long it is. So that's something that I've done. So it's it's just a new thing. Suits me a bit better. It's a bit more work in some ways, in the sense of once I've finished the recording, I need to edit the recording to make the not hugely edit it, just to make the to to, to trim it, you know, for the to the right length, so I can have the uh audio start quietly and end you know fade in fade out stuff save it as an mp3 stereo and then i can upload that to all the different podcasts then 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 i can uh send it yeah make the video as well is what I'll be doing. So I'll be making the video. Then which will then take probably an hour or two to edit that, to um, process that or render. So it's fairly easy because uh, the video is kind of made ready. So it should be fairly easy to do. Uh, I've not done one yet, not with these, but um, so it's already got the the outline ready for it. So that will be a case of just uploading it to YouTube once it's rendered and processed. So that will be a few hours. So it's probably about four o'clock now, roughly. Twelve minutes past four in the morning. And I can honestly say, and it's not due to sleep issues really, just due to the circumstances. It doesn't feel like any time of the day or night. It just feels the same. It all feels the same at the moment. It's very unusual. I'm gonna have a drink of have a drink of Capri Sun, which is my current beautiful friend. Oh, I like Capri Sun. So I don't know what I'm going to do when I've finished this current period of uh, physicality, feelings, how I've been this week. When I've recovered, I don't know I'm going to, am I going to go back to drinking Coke again? I'm not going to go back to vaping, that's gone now, I've chucked the vapour away. So I don't know. I don't even, I've gone off eating tea cakes, which was my favourite thing. I've probably overdone it with the tea cakes anyway, over the last year. But I never want to see another tea cake ever. Um, I kind of might feel the same way about Coke as well. Which is a bit strange. Um, so yeah, it's... Trying to think of the word, the right word, detox. That was the word. 
See, all my words aren't really coming to me today. Detox. It's not rehab, is it? It's re detox. So kind of, although rehab, you do detox as well, isn't it? It's sort of a mixture of things with rehab, I suppose. You get to detox from whatever it is you're rehabilitating yourself from or with. Um, so yeah, I feel like I'm detoxing and because all I've really had is liquid for a few days, it's my body's kind of probably getting rid of a bit of stuff that's, that might have been in there for a long time, who knows? What, what do they call that? The irrigation or something, <laughs> isn't it? So maybe I've kind of caused my own little irrigation to occur, which is... Um, there's probably quite a few words to describe that, but I think what I'm looking forward to is going out again. So I've not been out since Saturday, and normally it doesn't really bother me, but it's something about not being able to go out that stopped me, that this wanted me to go out and just to take Andre for a walk just to the park or something I'm looking forward to that because uh, I've not really been able to get too far away from my uh, friend who lives in the bathroom and um, so I'm quite looking forward to just be free, you know. Run through the fields with abandon. Beads in my hair. Balancing a teapot on my head. I don't know, maybe not that, but waving Andre up in the air. I've not even been able to give him proper kisses either. Because I was just trying to, didn't want him to catch what I got, so I've kind of just been more like kissing him on the head, and I didn't, I don't want him to have what I got, so so I'll be glad I can give him proper kisses again. So because he's uh, the two things he likes, he likes that, but he seems to want to go out as well. I think he's getting a little bit housebound, and uh, sometimes I'll get up and he'll just jump to attention. And it's nothing here. He doesn't want anything here. Because he's got his food, got water, he's got everything he needs. He wants to go out. Get a bit of fresh air. And I do as well. So maybe tomorrow, or well today, it's Friday now, but it's a bit early. I'm not going out when it's dark like this. Because, see, in the old days, I love saying that, I sound so ancient. But when I was younger, which was you know when I started this recording, so that's uh, a literal interpretation of that. So we used to have street lights. We still do, but the street lights used to be on all night, and they used to be bright, like you know full on bright. Now the street lights, a lot of them aren't bright anymore sort of turn them down brightness and they go off at maybe half twelve, half one one o'clock, midnight, whatever depending on where they are which it's just, yeah it's not, it's just not very good really and then they come on again in at what, six o'clock in the morning probably uh, yeah, sort of in the winter, I mean. Maybe five o'clock, I don't know. Maybe not at all. Now, I suppose they've got to come on, haven't they, for the schools and stuff, because it's still dark at this time of year until about seven or eight. Or not very light. At night it doesn't worry me really so much because I don't need to go out late at night but 
be nice to go out in the morning sometimes if I'm up maybe four or five in the morning go for a little walk but it's just it's like pitch black out there it's just it's like staring into I just I just yeah it's just yeah just looking down a very dark tunnel just with yeah yeah See how I don't I don't go don't go out early hours in the morning. I'm not saying that I'd walk around twenty four hours a day if it was the lights were on all the time, but the lights used to be on. You know, twenty four hours a day. Not not during the day, but you know, I used to come on at night and stay on all night until they went off. That's the whole light story, really. I thought I'd just share that with you. Yeah, I used to have lights. There may have been a time when the lights went off at night. And then they changed the door, you know, maybe they changed it and then they came on. But for a long time they were on all night. So I remember I used to live where there was a light just outside where I lived and the light was shining on in, in, into my room like the whole time, all night long. I would have loved the lights to have gone off at night. It didn't, it just stayed on all the time. Then I realised it was the moon. No, it was definitely a, a light. Well, the moon is a light, isn't it? It's not a light. Oh no, it's on. So it's, it's a light. No, it's not like that. But I quite like the moon. It's very, very fast moving. When I used to have a telescope, I used to. I used to have a little competition, so I'd focus the telescope directly in the center, so the the moon was in the centre of the telescope. And then I'll get undressed and don't worry, nothing weird here. I just basically got my pyjamas on. So I'd get my clothes off um, and I'd put my pyjamas on. That, that was it, that's the whole uh, thing. And I don't know what the, it was kind of a normal ritual routine kind of thing. I don't mean ritual as in, you know, doing it inside a circle of salt and, you know, there's no goats involved. It was just me getting undressed, putting my clothes probably, I'm not sure if I used to put my clothes on the chair because I had my school clothes then I used to take my school clothes off when I got home and put on my normal clothes. And then in the evening, I used to put my dressing, my, my um, pyjamas on with my dressing gown on, usually, you know, early evening. And... Just in that small time it took to change from my normal clothes, I say normal, you know, but what is normal? You know, it's uh, flip-flops, rucksack, you know, samurai sword, it's just standard, standard stuff for an 11 year old you know just normal normal clothes and so yeah that, that's it clogs sometimes sometimes clogs but uh, 
of course there was a period when I was going through the Star Trek phase so I had to always make sure that I had the false ears well false ear Spock because I was going to get two two ears but they cost one pound ninety nine each these fake ears to be like Spock from Star Trek and I thought you know what if I just buy one and then make sure that I'm always facing the person who I'm with face, make sure that I'm facing them with that ear then they won't know any difference they won't know that I'm wearing only just one ear and I'll have saved myself £1.99 so I was quite pleased about that And in that short time it took to get ready to get dressed from my normal clothes or changed from my normal clothes, you know, putting the stuff away, you know, of course, packing it into a suitcase in case I have to leave quickly in a helicopter or, you know, just normal stuff. I put my pyjamas on, get my dressing gown on and I didn't always sometimes I do a different knot with the dressing gown so sometimes it would be a standard knot and other times it would be just like some kind of if I was in a hurry I'd do this really weird knot and then I'd like well, how am I going to get it out and and then it's, you know, maybe I needed to go to the toilet and it's just, I can't get it off and I'd have to try and get it over my head and it was very awkward. And I remember, I realised it was my little brother's dressing gown I was wearing and that's why I was struggling to get it off. And, and it didn't happen very often. And by the time I'd got all my clo- everything changed into my normal clothes, off of my normal clothes into my uh, pajamas and my dressing gown, I went walked up to the telescope. Now, the telescope was near the window, and I always found the best way to see out of the window with the telescope is to focus the or aim the telescope lens the end of it out towards kind of in the, the, the direction I turned into Daffy Duck there didn't I the, 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 the direction and is it Daffy Duck that's all folks da, 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 that's all folks wah, wah. Daffy Daffy Duck Disney anyway I by focusing on the particular inner direction that I was aiming to visually, you know, uh, experience, I found that was the best way to actually see things through the telescope. And um, by the time I'd actually got changed into from my normal clothes um, I didn't always dress as a nun I'm just saying sometimes it happened but generally I just wore normal pyjamas and the dressing gown you know uh, and I used to walk up to the telescope I'll make it out like I was in a massive room. It wasn't that much of a big room. It was a nice size. I mean, reality probably wasn't any bigger than the room I'm in now. But it seemed bigger because I was smaller. You know? So it's... uh,
so yeah, I what was I gonna say? Yeah. So I'd walk so it's like I'm walking for like an hour to get to the other end of the room. I wasn't at all. And I was quite a slow walker. Um but I'd walk one step, one step, you just one step at a time. As with life, it's it's one step at, you know, one step at a time will lead you to where you're going. And I would look into the lens, you know, into the the eyepiece. Um, I forget what they called it, but, you know, to see whereabouts the moon was in comparison to where it had been because I kind of, I'd marked where it was before. And it was moved, always moved. And sometimes I thought, is it because the telescope is moving? You know, it's just some kind of, I don't know, just, you know, is, is it moving? Is, because you had to like do the, the screws up quite tight to make it stay in one place. And it was quite a heavy telescope. I say heavy, it wasn't as heavy as a hundred bricks, but it was quite heavy. Um, yeah, a gorilla would be heavier, but I'd say probably a chicken. Oh, well, don't go back into goat territory, but I was saying, you know, um, maybe a chick, kind of the same kind of weight as a chicken. Maybe heavier than a chicken, actually. It depends how heavy the chicken was. Um, but the I saw that the moon had moved. And just in that small time it took to, uh, to take off my Zorro costume. It was amazing. I just didn't think that something that size could move such a big distance in such a short period of time. And I remember I went down and I spoke, I don't know who it was I spoke to, but I remember saying to, it might be one of my brothers or, I was saying, I, I just can't believe. He said, what's that? I just can't believe it's, it's moved such a, such a distance in such a small amount of time. And my brother said, oh, it's not very interesting, is it? What? What do, you, what do you mean? He said, "Well, well it doesn't it doesn't. Why? Why are you telling me this?" I said, "Well, I thought I'd just invite you into one of these. I'm doing one of those. Let me bore you to sleep things, and I thought I'd just include you. You know. Oh, okay. So am I getting paid? <laughs> paid. Bless." No, we don't get paid for this. Well, why would you do it then if you don't get paid? Oh, you've got a lot to learn, brother. It's not about money. It's, it's, it's about something much bigger than that. Like what, brother? Okay, um... What's about giving yourself to something? It's about um, opening yourself bare, in a sense, but in the same point, uh, to try and help others, to 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 what, brother? <laughs> okay, uh, let me think. Well, I do these recordings to help people to relax, like at a very, at the very least, to just sort of wind down and relax. But hopefully, they'll be conducive in maybe helping people to drift to sleep through boredom. 
which is why I talk about my life and talk about and maybe make a few little bits up uh, along the way and and just talk about anything really and speak off the top of my head without any idea of what I'm going to talk about when I start or even in the next sentence I don't know what I'm going to say yeah go on <laughs> what do you mean go on go on I am going on I'm, I'm that's it it's just about being there's a lot of people that really value being able to just I suppose maybe it's sometimes it's a distraction it's a release it's something very different from uh, their own life and it gives them something different to think about and or something not to think about even it gives people in it uh, not an excuse because people don't need excuses it's everyone's got their own choices but gives people an, op an opportunity to just relax and let go oh is that it I suppose yeah sounds a bit boring to me Yeah, it it does, doesn't it? But that's kind of the point. You know, that's why I call it Let Me Bore You to Sleep. But answer me this. Yeah, go on then. How are people meant to know which one of us is talking when we both sound the same? <coughs> That's a good point. Shall I be brother and you be Jason? No, because you're Jason. That's true. So what's it like then, Jason, to know that the most boring recordings that you've ever made are those where you talk about your own life. Well, um, that's quite an interesting question. I don't think it's always about the content because it can be about the delivery it can be about the purpose it can be about the intention it can be about the moment it can be about the energy sharing that energy whilst listening knowing that other people around the world are also listening maybe not now but were earlier but possibly at the same time that you are listening and also relaxing and maybe their mind lets go. And the human element of this means that people know they're not listening to some guru giving loads of wonderful advice. They're just listening to a normal human being. I say normal, but you know, a human being talking bunch of rubbish with the hope that it's useful to allow them to just feel completely bored to fall asleep and at the very least the very very least to feel relaxed And on that incredibly insightful, phenomenal, phenomenal, 
wonderful and poignant and that's my toes cricking there crick cricking creaking I can't believe I've done 76 of these I think I started these in January or February last year this is the most of anything that I've ever done out of all the recordings I've made never made this many of anything and you think nearly every one of these has been an hour or so 76 hours that's a lot that's a lot of just waffle a lot of words a lot of I imagine a lot of repetition as well I hope so <laughs> otherwise if I am able to come up with lots of new stuff every time then perhaps I should look into writing a book or something I don't know the book of rubbish So that's me. I'm going to upload this now. I wish everybody listening to this or watching this video lots and lots of happiness, relaxation, and the correct amount of sleep that you need to function fully and to feel healthy and happy and also I wish you a wonderful new year for this 2019 if I haven't already wished you it I wish you it now take care bye